my name is Jane Antonovich. Welcome back for another installment for the gas station renovation. So today we're going to take a, a tour of our bedroom. Um, you'll notice actually before we even go in that um, I chose a, a very dark rich color for the door and the frame just as a way to make it feel special. So come on in and I can't wait to show you. So the first thing in feng shui is the position of the bed and actually the bed itself. So um, here we have simple bedding, strong headboard, gorgeous fabric, beautiful color mimicking the door color, and then behind it, just on the headboard wall, extending out that headboard energy with some gorgeous, gorgeous grass cloth. So this whole thing feeling backed up and safe, you wanna be in a position you want your bed to be in a position where you feel completely safe and like nobody could sneak up behind you. So um, if you followed me for a while, you know that I always talk about matching nightstands, matching lamps, keep everything feeling very balanced around the bed. So this room is quite small. Um, and Bob and I, as I've mentioned, are minimalists. So we, we did away with nightstands and instead put these beautiful plywood windowsills in so that we could just put the essentials. So we've got a clock and glasses, that kind of thing, and that's really all we need. Um, we also did lights above that um, can dim and um, they, they actually give us some nice lighting when we don't really want to use the center light. And the next thing is the closet. So the last time I showed you, I think we didn't have this beautiful linen curtain up. So Again, small room and a few challenges with how to close off the closet. Um, none of the doors were really working for us and even the sliding doors weren't showing enough of the closet and this was an incredibly great solution. It's a hospital rod with um, snap tabs on the top and it just so easily opens, closes and stacks up very small on one end. So. Originally, this closet was gonna go from corner to corner, but throughout the planning process, we decided that we really wanted to put in a teeny tiny bathroom for just for us so that we didn't, um, so that we had it available for us. So inside these bifold doors, you'll see the, one of the smallest bathrooms on the planet, quite possibly. Um, but what we did to make it feel really beautiful and great is uh, we put glass mosaic rose-colored tile on the walls so that it could really reflect the light. Um, gorgeous wallpaper around the top and on the ceiling, like a midnight blue with some little rose gold stars twinkling up there. Um, we put pebble tile on the floor and then added this toilet with the sink topper. So it's just an actually standard toilet where you take the top off and rehook the water so that instead of going into the tank, first it comes out of this little spout. You can wash your hands and then the gray water goes into the tank for the next flush. So great water saving feature. Um, and while we were at it, we added a little shower because why not? So the room is actually a wet room. There's a drain in the floor and uh, it works great. So some of you are probably wondering, well, what about the art? I haven't seen any art yet. <laughs> Um, so one piece of a big sized, gorgeous piece of art was enough to round this room out. This artist, she paints with passion, she paints with joy, and her work is absolutely beautiful. It's a gorgeous thing to have at the foot of the bed to wake up to and to kind of dream into. You'll notice actually, um, in a bedroom, we don't want the energy moving too fast. And this room is small, so it's a little tricky. But one of the things that I did to, to help the energy stay up, even though it's a small space and even though it's a sleeping space and a quiet space, was to match this beautiful color uh, from the front door and have it go around the room. As you know, energy travels around the room. So it went from the door to the headboard to the rosy colored tile in the bathroom throughout the art and back around again. So our energy is going around not too fast. It feels really, really good in here. And last but not least, we did add a little three season porch out right outside our door so that we can take advantage of that in a little bit nicer weather. Um, 
sit out here and have coffee and can't wait to do that because we moved in almost when it was winter. So um, the beautiful view and there's actually a pair of eagles building a nest right across the road in a tree right over there. So this is going to be fun this spring. Thanks so much for coming today. I can't wait to show you more. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, feel free to ask any questions, put any comments into the boxes below. I would love to con continue the conversation with you there and I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming.